Hi there, my name is Luther and I'm the inventor of the Explain Our Patty Mat. And what I want to show you in this video are four key principles upon which you're going to build a good putting stroke and help you make more putts. The biggest fault I see for most club golfers when it comes to putting is the lack of ability to aim well. It doesn't matter how good your stroke is or how much feel you've got, if the putter face and your body particularly are not lined up, it makes it difficult. So the DNA of your swing is in the structure of your putter. We know about custom fit for irons and woods, but custom fitting your putter is every bit as important, particularly when you're using the putter 30 times in a round of golf. So this is the error that most people make when they're putting. They tend to look at the ball first and address the putter head, and then they look at the target. Well, that's crazy. That's like sort of aiming your gun before you find your target. If you aim the putter face at the hole and look and cross your fur, you've got a much better chance. So here we go, look at the hole before you address the ball. It sounds simple, but so many, so many of you will do this and then look. So I'm observing the hole and I'm doing my best to aim the putter face. And what you have on the explainer putting mat are these stripes to make it easy so you know that the putter face is square to the intended line of your putt. So there we have it, the number one principle, learn to look at the hole before you aim the putter. On the assumption that you've actually aimed the putter face properly, it leads us to building the grip. But you can't hold the club properly without getting your posture right. So having looked at the target and aimed the putter head, you then tip from the hip, you lean forward to allow your hands to hang onto the putter grip. So you just imagine your arms have gone to sleep. You can't move them except by tipping from the hip. This happens in the long game, but every much importance in, in the putting. So look at the target, aim the putter, then lean forward, tip from the hip. And now you're going to find that because the posture, you've created the shoulder line that's consistent with the orange stripe on the putting mat. The visual alignment of the putter is key. The rest alignment is muscular, and now you take your stance. So there's good posture, your arms are hanging, and the face of the club is between your feet. So there we go. You can't have good grip without good posture. Aim the putter head, tip from the hip to build your grip, and then you're good to go. The framework for a good putting grip comes from an understanding of how the forearms work. So when you address the ball and tip forward, the forearms have to line up. Simple drill, get a book, hard back, and let your arms hang. Now initially you'll notice that the hands, they hang inwards by 45 degrees. So when we actually bring the palms together by holding the book like this, you can now see that as the palms together, the forearms have a certain structure, and that structure is good for putting. We don't want sort of bends and kinks in this. It's a simple mechanism, but I think you can see the forearms behaving properly. So that's the essential feeling of posture and forearms hanging. And because of that, you can build a good grip. So aim the putter face at the target, tip forward, but now my forearms will feel the way they did with the book. Simple thing to get right, has a massive effect upon the shape of your putting stroke. Ten years ago, I was privileged to be one of the key speakers at Butch Harmon and his brother's teaching summit in Las Vegas. Uh, on the bill with myself and the Harmon brothers was the great putting designer, Scotty Cameron, and he did a fascinating presentation. At his laboratory, where the tour pros come to get fitted for a Scotty Cameron putter, he has the ability to track the behavior and movement of the sweet spot. And Scotty can tell you there are guys that are almost mechanically perfect, they're almost robotic. He then showed us two putting strokes that had a slight loop in. And what was surprising, that those two strokes were numbers one and two on tour. So what does that tell you? It tells you that the desire to roll the putt, which is a chemical thing, a confidence thing, is more important than the mechanics. You can have great mechanics, but still not roll the ball well. But as Scotty Cameron explained, a slight flaw in the stroke can be overcome by intent. So here we go. I'm just gonna put a little loop into the swing to show you that I can make a looper stroke, but still correct it. 
and the ball goes down the target line. So, it's great to have good mechanics and I'd recommend you to aim the putter face as best you can with posture and grip to match. When push comes to shove, it's how you roll the ball that's going to count.